the last one we're gonna try is the C's candy. Cookie. Happy Valentine's Day! I'm Mar. And I'm Mom, and today we're gonna be trying chocolate. We have Ghirardelli chocolates. We have Godiva chocolates. Russell, Russell Stover. And C's candy. So which one would you like to try first? Well, this one's already open, so why don't we try the Russell Stover one? Okay. This one, I'm gonna try just the regular truffle. How is it? I'm guessing this is the same one. Do they have two of the same ones? Those are supposed to be truffles? They don't taste like truffles. So the Russell Stover's were the cheapest ones. I think that one was like $6 for this box. So I would say those were just meh. Which one do you want to try next? The Daiwa. Ooh, you know those are gonna be good. This one has plastic around it. Oh, and there's tape. A few minutes later. So the Godiva ones are a little bit different. They're a little fancier. They've got uh, foil wrapped ones and they've got Looks like white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate in here. I'm gonna try the, this foil one. It's a dark chocolate foil heart. And then let's see which one I wanna try. I don't typically like chocolates with like fruit in them, so I usually avoid things with like raspberries. How was it? It's hard. It's hard? It's hard to bite into. And it's too sweet. It's chocolate, my dear. It's dark chocolate though. I'm gonna try um, the dark chocolate Eclipse which is this round one. Oh wow. That's really decadent. It's, it's really good. I like that a lot. For those of you who like dark chocolate, that's a good one. Did you wanna try any other ones? The white chocolate one says it's sugar cookie. I Ooh. don't I don't like white chocolate, but that sounds interesting. It looks like a gumdrop. Does it taste like a sugar cookie? Mm. I'm gonna try the milk chocolate caramel. I love caramel. I think this is the right one. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Next, we'll try the Ghirardelli. We'll say this one's not as hard to open. A few minutes later. Oh. Okay, so this is a little different. They're all individually wrapped candies. Oh, they're all, there's only two kinds. Oh. Is it just dark chocolate and milk chocolate? Yeah, but they're all sea salt caramel. Oh. I don't like caramel, and I don't like sea salt caramel even more so. More for me. Oh, wow, that's really good. This caramel is way better than the Godiva caramel. You want to try just that little piece? It's mostly dark chocolate. That 
that's really tasty, but it's something that you can't really eat a lot of. Yeah, like one is more than enough for me. I feel like if you had coffee or tea, it might be a little bit easier to eat. It's too salty. Oh, I like it. It's It offsets the sweetness. No. So the last one we're going to try is the Seas Candy. Um, the Godiva and the Ghirardelli Chocolate Hearts, um, those were about on average $9 a box because it was like buy one get one 50% off. Uh, the Seas Candy was actually $10 for this tiny little box. So the Seas Candy was actually the most expensive. Wow, those look really amazing though. There's no... Um... It doesn't say what each of them are. I think it's on the bottom. No, it's not. Usually it is. Well, you could do what I used to do as a kid. I would love getting C's candy and taking a bite, and then if I didn't like it, I'd put it back in the box, so the next person that opened up the box of C's candy, they would see all these bitten chocolates in there, because I would just take a bite and put it back. I chose this dark chocolate square. What's in it? What is it? I have caramel. <laughs> Try a different one. That might be raspberry. Better than caramel. This one's another dark chocolate rectangle square. And it has white stripes on it. Usually that's like a raspberry or some type of maybe coconut. It looks like raspberry. Am I right? I know my C's candy. I'm gonna have a molasses chip. This is like one of my favorite C's candies. Mm. Does not disappoint. I love this candy. I don't know why. Maybe because it has a crunch in it. You wanna try? No, I don't like those. Oh, it's good. And then this one is a circle. I think it's dark chocolate and it has like some sprinkles, sprinkles on it. That one might be coconut or well, maybe not. It's like mystery chocolate box. You take a bite to figure out what, which one you got. You don't know what it is? I think it's salty. Is it nougat? good. The inside kind of reminds me of um, Three Musketeers. It's like very soft inside. This one's um, a milk chocolate square. That one looks good. Oh. Oh, it's like the same toffee one, but bigger. Mmm. It's an almond roca. Mmm, this is like one of my all time favorite candies is the almond roca. That's basically what this is. That is delicious. And then the last one is a milk chocolate circle. You can try this one. I want the same as that one, it's dark chocolate. That one just looks like chocolate inside, like chocolate yeah. fudge. Is it fudge? I don't know about fudge, but it's like, it's just chocolate. Mmm. It's almost like chocolate mousse. This one's good. This one really tastes like a dessert. Like something that they would serve at the end of a meal. 
The C's candy chocolates were the richest. Yeah. Which is surprising because usually you think of like Godiva as like the most expensive and the, the richest, but out of these boxes, the C's candy was definitely the best. And then the Russell Stover was probably the worst. Um, for me, it would be Ghirardelli last. Or this way, Ghirardelli last. Um, Russell Stover second. Second or second to or last? third. Um, I think Godiva second and then C's candy. But we didn't try a lot of the Godiva ones, so we're going to have to try them um, and see if we like any of the other ones. Um, we just both happen to like dark chocolate, so whenever we have choices in chocolate, we always go for the dark chocolate first, and then the milk chocolate always ends up last to be eaten. Yeah, and then if there's like white chocolate, we usually don't touch it. Yeah. The nice thing about Seas Candy too, um, the lady that worked there, she was really nice. She actually gave me a whole handful of samples, and I haven't even looked at those yet so we have uh, more chocolates to try thank you for joining us today and spending valentine's day with us and trying chocolates hope you all have a, a wonderful valentine's day with friends and family if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to your channel and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.